So do we want to uh, go around and, and say who we are so that people will know? What's the easiest way to do this? Joe, it's better for you to identify each person and then let them speak. This is Kathy. Yes. Um, identify them now before we start? If you'd like. Okay, I can't see who's here other than oh. Amy and uh, Kara. Amy, introduce yourself. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> Okay. Amy Miller, Weathersfield Senior Center. Okay. Carol? Carol Cobernarsis, Advisory Committee. Okay. Who is there? Uh, Kathy Bagley? Hi. Kathy's here. Uh, Janice? Janice is here. Uh, Jan Beldinger? No, she couldn't make it. Claire, are, are you on? Well, my wife is on. She told me. Yeah. Um. Uh, Tom? Yeah, here. Sylvania? No. Chris Taylor? Y yes, I'm here, Joe. It's uh, Chris Taylor, Weathersfield Elderly Services Coordinator. Okay. Did I miss anybody? <clears throat> yes, Henry Hornet here, citizen at large. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put out an all points bulletin for you, Henry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I think our last meeting was February 20th. And I couldn't find any minutes on that online. Joe, we just, I, I had sent out an email this is a special meeting, so we weren't reviewing the minutes due to COVID. We had the closures, and I didn't, didn't have all the minutes together. So okay. um, since you wanted to meet before the end of the fiscal year, um, okay. th I, that's why it was not on the agenda. Okay. That's, that's all right. Yes, this was a very last-minute meeting that I felt we needed to uh, call just to touch base with everyone. Um, find out if there's any news that needs to be uh, filtered back to our individual activity uh, participants, even though we're not all meeting, but I think uh, everyone that's in charge of a group uh, has a network set up where they can get back and talk with them individually. But the main focus on the meeting was, uh, I know it's uh, the end of our fiscal year, and I wanted to find out if we had any uh, money left on our treasury and um, what everyone's feelings were about uh, what to do any, with any surplus that we might have. I did get a few uh, suggestions today, Amy, from you. And um, you wanna just mention what those were? I do, but I wasn't sure if you wanted to go by the agenda and just go over the old business first. Okay, I'm sorry. I've got no, the I just want right to make sure we're going by the... <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I have to uh, leave to give somebody a gift card. I'll be right back. It's Chris Taylor. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. All right, I think we can go ahead with the, the old business. You're right. I just uh, put my hands on the agenda and uh, want to make sure we don't miss anything. Um, well, by now we all know that the May event had been canceled due to the uh, COVID-19 virus. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna go ahead with that same theme for 2021. Uh, the, this year's theme was on the road again, and uh, it involved having a representative from different travel agencies come in and talk about uh, trips or uh, day, excursions that might be available. Um, when we meet again in September, we're going to have to start all over and see uh, what the conditions are. Uh, if we 
do get a, a second wave of the virus and, and uh, come up with some alternate plans. So um, I think the only thing I have to report on the old business was that the, the uh, May event had, has been canceled. Um, Amy, do you have anything to add to that? No, just as you know, our senior center closed March 12th, as most of the senior centers in the state did. Uh, they followed suit quickly after, if not uh, the day after we did or the week after. Um, and our following spring programs were stopped uh, in person. We were able to um, do remote classes, and I continue to do those for free through the end of this month. Um, from July 1st, we will start summer classes. Again, the senior center will remain closed through the end of the summer, which is the end of August, at which time we'll reevaluate from what the health department, we're working with the health department in the town to, um, to when we can safely come back. The governor is still saying anyone 65 and over, and I can't stress this enough because I keep getting a lot of phone calls of people saying, well, the restaurants are open, the gym's open, but uh, they neglect to, the word hasn't been strong enough that that does not apply to 65 and over or people um, that are compromised. They are still uh, recommending stay home, stay safe. So that's what we're following and uh, we'll continue to do that. We do have remote classes, some free, some, uh, there'll be a small fee for the exercise classes starting July 1st. Um, but they're going pretty well, and um, we've also been reaching out via phone and email to all our senior members. So we're doing as best as we can to keep in contact with them. And I'm hoping to get some things um, on the public TV channel 14 at some point. Um, we had started to do some on channel 16, but we ran into technical problems. So we'll revisit that, uh, hopefully, you know, come the beginning of the month. Um, I'll either have word if we can get it up and running on uh, the 14th, but on channel 14. But that's what we're working on. Okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, did you hear anything from the uh, travel agents that we had uh, recruited to take part in the May event? Uh, I think initially, you know, when we told them that we were going to cancel. They they were already to they were ready to sign up for the 2021 event. Yeah, and I think all of them, the ones I spoke to, are um, the the travel agent we work with with the senior center that does the day trips, um, friendship tours. They have canceled all their tours over the summer. They're starting to work on doing remote uh, programs. They're hoping to maybe start back up in September. So all the travel agencies are, I mean, they totally understood um, and they were canceling as well, as you know. Um, right. They're at a halt. So they're, of course, they're, they would love to come back next year. Um, I think they could get a boost for their industry. So they, they're very willing and able okay. if we want to go forward with that. Right. Same with the um, three that I had. They're very anxious to do it next year. Um, one of them, Elaine's Travel, I think it's her very own business. I don't think she has anybody working for her. She frantically asked me if we wouldn't consider doing it in the fall, and I said no. So I'm hoping she's she survives this time. Um, but anyway, they're interested in trying again next year if we do decide to go ahead. Good, okay. Well, as I said, when we uh, reconvene in September, we'll have to take another look at it and see what the uh, condition of, in the state is at that time. So if I could interrupt for a second, sure. just, just to let you know that when you were doing the uh, attendance, Sylvania is on, she just can't speak, but she can hear us. Okay, great. Okay, that takes care of our old business and, and a good portion of the new business that we wanted to discuss. I think Amy just covered, uh, and that was the uh, activities for the uh, senior club. We're, we are getting a lot of calls from uh, seniors that play setback, and I tell them that we would probably be the very last activity to get back 
into the center because we're so large and we, uh, there's so, there's so many um, things that are peculiar to our group where we change tables frequently and you're in contact with everyone that's in the hall. So it's not just someone you happen to be seated next to. Uh, and with a group of 80, um, that, that's kind of hard to uh, keep that social distancing. Uh, I think we figured out we would need, we would need nine foot tables and four people at a table and don't move. Uh, but yeah. then we run into complications. Does that mean we have to buy new cards every time because everybody uh, might be contaminating them? So I just tell them, I, I don't see us going back before the end of the year. Uh, we may surprise them, but that's how I'm leaving it with my group. Okay, um, end of year report and uh, budget. Okay, Amy, you said um, we had uh, roughly $700 now? Um, it's a little bit more because I was um, planning on doing um, two advertisings in June, but we were able to get out um, a lot through the brochure and online. So um, there was $200 extra. So we're closer to a little, probably 775 with, I just have to double check. There was no taxes or fees taking out um, coming up, but right around between 750 and 775 will be the final. Um, and that's for us, that's our surplus that we need to spend by July or June 30th. Does that include the two ads that are in the current edition? Yeah, I because we had um, around twelve fifty, twelve seventy five uh, at the end of the last one. So May I had a half ad. June and July we had full ads, so that was five hundred dollars in total. Like I said, I just have to make sure there was no fees. Sometimes, right? Um, I, depending on when we ran the ad. So, but it, we should be good for that. And I, I also wanted to ask Kathy, perhaps, I, depending on what we purchase or things like that, say we purchased something, Kathy, for $850, could that extra $100 come from my senior center budget? Well, we'd have to look at it. Right now, what you're looking at is you, the funds that you have that you're talking about in the operating budget um, we're originally set for doing all the rear reminder ads for the May event that didn't happen. So you, that's kind of what you're looking at in terms of funding. So if, if you have an idea as far as what you'd like to spend for that, you could look at that um, and look at the possibility of purchasing it in June uh, if it goes through the proper process and gets approved. So it's, it is a process that you go through. It's not just like oh, we're going to just spend all this money because we have it. So right. you have to be a little judicious in what you're looking at because in actuality, you know, some stuff didn't get spent because the events were canceled. So you want to be a little cautious in how you um, look at spending the funding. Right. I mean, I get, when Joe will go over um, his ideas or things that they were talking about, um, I was just wondering if we did see something that we do feel is a good need and we think we'll go through, but it ends up being a little bit more. Is that something that could come out of the funds or do we have to be below seven, that number? I think with the 750, that's the number you want to look at. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, several weeks ago, I sent out an email to everyone asking if they had any ideas of, or knew of any needs that needed to be taken care of with this uh, surplus money because uh, Amy and I had discussed and we thought that there would probably be five to six hundred dollars worth of, uh, of money left over. Um, no one really had any any suggestions. Um, Amy came up with a few just this week though and um, one was the purchase of a widescreen TV for the um, I think in that meeting room opposite the cafe yes right i know that they, they do exercises down there um that's very that room is used a lot um 
And I'm surprised we don't have a big TV down there already for that. We do. It's, it's used for exercise. It's used for the movies that I show once a week. Um, when I first came last year, uh, Mary Tebow had mentioned that it, we may be having to look at getting a new one. Um, it's, it's a little bit older. And so that's why I was saying if we do have, that's just an idea. We do have something that's still working right now. It might be a little bit smaller. Maybe we could get something that's a little bit bigger. Um, or, and that, that can still be used at the, in another uh, room. We were thinking like F3 uh, at the beginning of the hallway there mm -hmm. for meetings and things like that. That's used up there, exercise. That room, both of the rooms are used quite a bit. Um, again, so the, it was just one of the, the options I put out there. Right, I like that idea. There were two other suggestions that you had made and I don't have your email in front of me. What, would you remind me? Yeah, um, one was um, a portable speaker sound system. We do have a big bulky speaker that we carry around through the rooms when we have speakers and things. It's great for someone who's just talking, but I've tried to use it. I tried to do it like movies on the projector and use the speaker, but it has a lot of feedback. So if we were using it for music or movies or any kind of entertainment, um, it's an older, heavier version, and there's a lot of newer things out there now that I was thinking that might work better, be more portable. We could use them in multiple rooms. Um, so for, for movies, entertainment, speakers, things like that. Um, the other, I can look up my email to you, but the other I know, I think I had, oh, I know, um, either maybe purchasing a couple tablets for members to use either during programs or if we're doing educational programs or if they want to borrow in-house, not something to take home. Um, some of the library, other town libraries do that, um, but that's a bigger investment. Um, but uh, possibly we could do something like that. Uh, the other option was uh, some of the, the exercise instructors were saying we need more weights and maybe um, exercise bands. Um, that certainly wouldn't cost $700, but um, it would, could come up to a couple hundred dollars. Um, I know they need one pound weights uh, and I think some new bands. I think they're all set with the balls and things like that, but I, I could take a quick inventory and talk to the instructors. But So those are my four ideas was the TV, the speakers, tablets, or exercise equipment or Okay, let me say something about the, uh, the speakers. Uh, the last time that our group met, I had talked with uh, one of the custodians, and he said he had activated Bluetooth um, within the Wi-Fi system that we have throughout the building. And by That's not throughout the building. It's only in the, that large banquet room. Okay. Yeah. Um, and by doing that, the uh, sound was amplified better than with the speakers that we were, had been using. Um, so I, I'm kind of le leaning towards the um, the television or the wide screen. Yep. Uh, I think that they're, the exercise group down there uh, would get more use out of it. And then if there's any money left over, use it for the exercise equipment. Yeah, and just to clarify the speaker systems, like you said, I think the speaker system in the banquet room uh, works for there, but the, I was talking about something portable. So if there was something going on in the gym or when we do large movies in the two rooms at in the senior center across from the cafe or um, in one of those classrooms, those don't have speakers in them. Oh, all right. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so maybe, maybe that is a better idea. That one's better than the other. I guess it depends on what the group, um, you know, feels. Yeah. Can we hear from some of the other members and see what their feelings are about this? Carol, you're on mute. Here, I'll unmute her. Carol, can you unmute your, I think I can do it. 
Unmute. There you go. go. Oh, there I go. Um, well, we already have the TV, but you don't have that speaker for the other rooms. So I do think the speakers is a better choice. Okay. You know, uh, because you already have a TV, but if right. you don't have the speakers for the other room, are they used a lot, those other rooms? You know, would it be utilized more or is the TV? Uh, yes, it no, I mean, the TV is old and I have a feeling it's, it's, it's certainly not gonna last forever. And I know we're not gonna have this kind of surplus forever either. <laughs> so, I mean, they're both great. I think, like like I said, the speakers I could use if I'm doing um, movies on the projection screen. It probably, you know, the TV and the sound system could be used for both those type of programming. You How know? much money are they? I mean, can you do both? No, no. I mean, I looked at the large screen TVs. Those run in the $700 range. That's why I was asking Kathy about if it went over a little bit, if we could, I mean, I certainly could shop for something under, um, and the speakers, I think, would probably be around the same, but uh, I have a call out to a couple of people that have purchased in the past, so that would be able to give me, I could email all of this to you guys, perhaps maybe we have some uh, pricing if you guys are deciding between the two um, or three things, you know, and put it out there and then make our decision that way. Henry, you have any thoughts? Yeah, uh, how, when you say large screen TV, how large of a TV are you talking about by large screen? I was looking at the like 70 inch. 70 inch for $700 is nice television. Well, it's a nice, nice size. Uh, yeah. What about a television and a sound bar? I think the sound bars could probably go for a few hundred dollars. Yeah, yep. Uh, rather than a speaker system, and the sound bar could uh, really enhance the volume. Uh, speakers on a television are a little on the small side, so if you're sitting, you know, ten feet away, the quality is not going to be that good. So uh, I would I would see if we could do something to get a large screen TV and the sound bar attachment. Ooh. Now, would that sound bar work with a projector too? Like, could it be used for? More things or is, would that just be for the television well I'm, I'm not too sure about that but I know a lot of sound bars are uh, Bluetooth accessible so I, I don't know if you could go with you know an outside source besides the television and run it through the sound bar but it could be possible right okay Uh, by the way, hey, I'm on uh, Zoom. I'm waiting to get uh, invited in. I don't it know says, if that's... It says you're in. I did click you in. Oh. It says it's oh. connecting to audio. Oh, let me see. Okay. Well, I'm I okay being on the phone. <laughs> oh, I see everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> there you are. You're uh, I was looking for bigger pictures. Okay, I, I see. <laughs> you want you want the widescreen TV? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my eyes are going bad. <laughs> okay, Tom, well that's my thought anyway. So, Tom, you have any thoughts about this? No, I'm not really too familiar with your operation. So whatever you would think is, you know, most advantageous. Um, I kind of would lean towards the speaker system, uh, uh, like uh, one person, uh, Carol, I think it was, that said, uh, you know, you already have a TV, so uh -huh. just, just my thoughts. Right. No, that sounds good. Chris Taylor, are you back? I'm back. I've been back okay. <laughs> for a while now, and I've been listening here, and I, I, you know, my opinion is whatever the group, whatever the consensus is, is I go with that. Okay. Thank you. Who am I missing? Uh, Janice? Um, it's hard to say, but if the TV is really on its last legs, um, it would be a shame to um, have it just die all of a sudden and then be left with nothing. Um, so if we could 
do that with some kind with what did he say a sound bar or something if that was affordable um that might I, it seems to me we probably maybe should go with something that is on its last legs re, uh, replace that before it becomes something that we just don't have okay good thought who am I missing? Uh, Kathy? Um, Joe, actually, uh, Sylvania came in with her opinion, too, because she's she's in the chat room. So okay. I'd just like to read you. She said her vote would be for the new TV. While the current TV is still working, it sounds like it may not be for too long. Mm -hmm. uh, and she said that was Sylvania's. So she, okay. that was, she sent that in. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. I didn't see that. And all I was going to say is what we could do, if it sounds like the group is leaning towards the TV or the speakers, we can, if you give us permission, we can, we can look at both and see what's going to make the most sense based on the dollars and the way it plays out and look at the TV, the sound bar or the speaker and and we can kind of see what we'll have the money for if, if that's the direction the committee would like to go in and maybe thinking the tv seems to be the one you're kind of talking about but you could certainly let us know okay that sounds good claire are you back he's, he's unmuting i guess yeah. not yeah i'm back okay do you have any uh, thoughts on I kind of go with the television set too because it's like it's, it's gonna poop out. Um, there's a lot of people that to use that on a routine basis. You said weekly and probably more often than that. Yeah, at least, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's my thought. Okay. Um, I don't know how we go about taking a vote on this unless we go through everyone's name again. Well, you can even, there's a little button at the bottom for reactions. You could put a hand up. <laughs> oh. I see that. Does everybody have that option? Except for the phone callers. We can ask Syl and um, Chris. But Silvana says she votes for the TV. Okay. <laughs> You want to do the reaction? Do you want to go down the list, or you sure. want us to? Okay. Or, so you want? What are you asking first? The t television. Right. Let's first ask. Hand if you like the television. <laughs> um, I don't know, Kathy. Uh, you're muted, Kathy. I don't vote. Oh, that's right. No, neither do I. <laughs> How do you do this? Do I? Okay, we've got Janice. That's funny. That's interesting. And Tom. So maybe we'll get lucky, Joe, and we'll find a new city that has some of the sound system with it. Well, I think. I think I like uh, Kathy Bagley's suggestion, you know, look at uh, both and see where, what our money will uh, purchase with the thought that we're leaning towards the TV. But if, it's, uh, if it turns out that uh, it's going to be too much with the additional uh, soundbar attachment, then um, find out if the soundbar would take the place of the speakers and then we could Great. Okay. And can we put that to a motion? Do we need to do that? No, I don't think so. I think uh, we'll we'll get me and Kat, Kathy and I will talk about getting pricing and we'll send it out to you. Okay. And then everyone can just respond via email. Okay, great. Um, we 
we have any other announcements? Hi, Henry. Yes, I announced that Henry is now on screen. <laughs> I, I just need a video button. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My only announcement, I guess, Joe, would be is that registration has started for the summer classes and folks can go online to register for summer classes. Okay. Chris, you usually have a whole batch of information. Anything vital that we need to get out? Um, I know that we're um, taking applications for renter's rebate and the deadline is October 1st. So if somebody was 65 years of age or disabled under Social Security last year for 2019, um, they can give us a call here and we could explain to them what is needed to file for the renter's rebate program. It's a program where they can get a check once a year. Um, and if they're disabled too under Social Security, you know, under 65 last year, then they would be eligible as well. And there are income guidelines uh, for single people as well as uh, married. Uh, but if anyone's interested, they can give us a call here at 860-721-2977 or email me at chris.taylor at weathersfieldct.gov. And I would be glad to explain how that program works. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Joe. And I hope that little, <coughs> excuse me, I hope that, uh, extra check that we got from the government doesn't throw off anyone's uh, eligibility to get into this rebate program. No, no, they, um, you know, we've, I've attended uh, several webinars and I'm told that that check is not to be counted towards good. any type of um, benefits. Good, very mm -hmm. good. Okay, anything else from anyone? All right, uh, Amy, you let us know what um, what you find out uh, with Kathy about the items that we talked about. Probably email is the best way. Okay, I see her going, her head going up and down. All right, then uh, that's it. Everyone have a good summer, and our next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, September seventeenth. I would just entertain a motion to adjourn. Can we have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second? second. I second the motion. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Have a good summer, everyone, and stay well. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Good job.